Well, hello, my brothers in the Green Bay area. My name is John Edwards, and I'm the host of the Just a Guy in the Pew podcast and the founder of Pew Ministries. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to be able to spend the day with you March the 2nd at this year's men's conference. Now, guys, we're going to start the morning off talking about the conversion of heart. And I'm going to share with you my own story of conversion from addict to evangelist. Guys, I wasn't always in ministry. I grew up Baptist. I wasn't always Catholic. That happened when I married my wife. But it was when I went to college that I walked away from my faith. I joined a fraternity. I had father wounds. I had inadequacy issues, all those things. And I looked for affirmation in everything and everybody else. And I found that in people that did drugs and drank, and I jumped right in there with them. And it wasn't long before I found myself in a 17-year addiction to cocaine, one that followed me through a job as a Fortune 250 salesperson, through my marriage, through the birth of my children, right? And it came to a head in 2016 when I was arrested on Holy Thursday for the possession of cocaine. I was there in a jail cell on the verge of losing everything in my life, my wife, my kids, my job, my reputation, everything I held dear. And Jesus came and met me in that place, right? I, th- I felt like at the time I was nothing more than the sum of my mistakes, of my sins. I wanted to take my own life. I struggled in so many ways, but Jesus showed up and he said, you don't have to be that way anymore, right? He showed me that when I walked away from him is when my, wife, my life went down. Guys, I gave my life back to Jesus that day, and I've been chasing after him ever since. Jesus can do anything with anybody. It doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, the mistakes you've made, the the choices you've made. Jesus is always standing there ready and waiting for us and extending that hand of mercy to us. So I'm going to talk to you about all of that and the crazy stuff that went on during and after all of that, how we started a men's group in our parish that changed my life and so many others that started this ministry. We're going to share all of that in the morning. Then I'm going to come back and be with you in the afternoon, and we're going to be talking about why small groups are important. The thing about our ministry is we go around the country and we launch ministry to men in parishes because we believe men need a place where they can be real, where they can be open and vulnerable. They've been told for so long to put their head down, never complain, work hard, don't have feelings, don't have emotions, and then we all wind up in vices and mess and other things other than God. Guys, we need places, and Estevere's done a great job of building places and small groups where these guys, where men like you can come together, not only to lead, but to walk with other men and to grow in your own faith. So we're going to talk about why these are important, and if you're not in one, why not? Because we all need places to go in our struggles, right? We need authentic friendships. We need real relationships. And most importantly, we need help growing in our faith and our relationship with Jesus Christ. Not only for us, but for our families, for our parishes, and for the culture around us. So guys, I can't wait to spend the day with you. I cannot wait to get there and get to meet you, hang out with you, fellowship, share, all of those things. I'll see you on March the 2nd. Please pray for me. I'll be praying for you. God bless. 